First playable hand, I look down at ace, king, queen, jack, single suited in the big blind and a straddled pot. There are four limpers to me. I make it 140 and there are two callers. So we're going three ways to a flop. Flop comes queen, six, two, rainbow. Obviously plenty good enough for me to push here with an under one SPR. So that's what I do. One of the early position players calls and the other player folds. This player asked me if I want to run it twice. I tell him yes. So we're going to two runouts. First turn brings a six. River brings a seven. Second turn brings an ace, now giving us top two pair. River brings a 10, giving us Broadway. I turn over my hand and my opponent turns over ace, ace, jack, seven. So uh, pretty fortunate here to chop it up with him. Every dealer change, we do a $25 double board bomb pot. And that's what we have here when I look down at queen, eight, five, five, double suited in the cutoff. We're going to flops of king, queen, queen with two hearts and king, seven, six, rainbow. For those of you unfamiliar with double board bomb pot strategy, you either want to have an extremely strong hand on one board, but better scenario is to have a hand that can win both boards. So in this hand, for example, obviously I have trip queens on the one board and the other I have an open ended straight draw as well as two backdoor flush draws. So definitely good enough to go with it here. Early position player bets 150, folds to me. I push everything in the middle, folds back to him and he makes the call. So we're going to two runouts. Turn on the top brings a three, river brings an eight. Turn on the bottom brings another seven, river brings a five, now giving us a full house on both boards. I turn over my hand and my opponent turns over his. He has king seven, seven, two. So he flop top pair and a set on the bottom. And we're gonna chop it up here against his quads. Here look down at king, king, jack, 10, single suit in an early position. I limp over to a late position player who also limps. Button makes it 50. Three callers to me, I call and the limper calls. So we're going five ways to a flop. Flop comes nine, four, four, rainbow. Checks to me, I check. Late position checks over to the button who pots it. Everyone folds to me, I also fold and the other player folds. The original razor turns over his hand. He has ace, ace, queen, four. So he did have us beat and uh, hit trips with his dangler. So he's gonna take it down. Here look down at king 10 9 8 single suited on the button folds to a middle position player who makes it 40 folds to me i call and the big blind calls so we're going three ways to a flop flop comes 9 8 7 with two clubs big blind checks the original razor checks to me i bet 80 and only the big blind calls so we're going heads up to a turn turn breaks another eight my opponent checks to me and i do tend to over slow play to a detriment but in my experience, a lot of players, when they're on a draw, you know, either a flush draw or a straight draw, they are a lot less likely to call a bet on the turn after the board pairs. So I decide to check back and, uh, you know, hopefully induce a bluff on the river. River brings a jack, now putting a one liner on the board. My opponent bets 75, I think a bit, and make it 225, and he quickly folds. So we take it down. Here, look down at ace, ace, king, jack, jack, double suited under the gun. Now in five card PLO high only, this is obviously one of the strongest hands in the game, but when you're playing big O, when you don't have the ability to make a low, as I can't here, then this hand becomes pretty marginal. So for that reason, I limp, two other limpers, small blind calls, and the big blind check. So we're going five ways to a flop. Flop comes 882 rainbow, small blind checks, big blind bets 50, and I fold. Here look down at ace, queen, jack, three, single suited in middle position in a double board bomb pot. The flops come out seven, five, two with two spades and eight, eight, seven rainbow. Action checks to me, I check and action checks through. So we're still going nine ways. Turn on the top brings a jack. Turn on the bottom brings a queen. Now giving us top pair with top kicker on both boards. Action checks to me and while I don't have a great hand, I decided to take a stab bet and bet 125. One late position caller and everyone else folds. So we're going heads up to two rivers. Rivers bring out an eight on the top and a six on the bottom. I check and my opponent thinks a bit before checking back. He turns over his hand, he has nine, five, four, three. So he had straight draws on both and hit it on the bottom and we're gonna chop it up here. So just a quick reminder that this Saturday, September 24th, we have the meetup game at Hustler from one to seven. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna be playing double board bomb pots. We're gonna be playing the small blind jackpot game. My buddy Josh, aka PLO Professor, is going to be there, as well as some other special guests. So definitely get on the list if you haven't already done so, and hope to see you guys there. Here, look down at Jack 10 9 8, single suited in middle position in another double board bomb pot. The flops come out King 9 3 with two spades and 10 10 8 rainbow. 
action checks to me, I bet 125, one caller and everyone else folds. So we're going heads up to two turns. Turns bring a nine on the top and an ace on the bottom. My opponent has about $400 left and I don't really wanna check back and give him a free card as I don't have any spades. So it's pretty likely that he's gonna have at least some kind of spade draw here. So I bet 205, my opponent thinks a bit and folds. So we take it down. Here we're playing some big O. I look down at ace, queen, 10, five, two, double suited on the button. There are a couple limpers to me. I also limp, small blind does as well. Big blind makes it 30. Two callers to me, I call and the small blind calls. We're going five ways to a flop. Flop comes king, jack, six, rainbow. Action checks to me, I bet 150 and there are two callers. So we're going three ways to a turn. Turn brings the worst card in the deck and another king. Both my opponents check and I check back as well. So we're still going three ways to a river. River brings a two. Both my opponents check to me again, and obviously here I'm not gonna be able to win the hand without betting. So I settle on 225. Player to my left thinks for a little bit and unfortunately makes the call, and the other player folds. I tell him you win, and he turns over Jack Jack 532. So you know he did lose to a couple hands there, but uh, definitely was gonna be tough to get him off the boat. So he's gonna take it down. So because you can't have nine players playing big O, just doesn't work out, there's not enough cards, the button doesn't get dealt in on those hands, but they have the option of playing the cutoffs hands if they fold. So I ended up folding this hand pre-flop, but Jake ended up playing it. They went to a flop of Jack-10-3 with two hearts. Middle position bet 120. Jake called, then early position pushed over the top for 350 total. Then the original better put it all in for about a thousand and Jake was left to a decision. So what would you do in this situation? He has the wrap with the flush draw, uh, bad backdoor low draw. So uh, would you call in his situation or fold? Turn brings a nine of diamonds. River brings an ace of spades. Early position player turns over ace jack nine eight six. So he flopped top pair with the nut flush draw. And the other position player turned over ace ace jack ten four. So he flopped top two and rivered top set. And he's gonna scoop a pot here, but Jake would have scooped the entire thing. Here look down at ace ten seven three two, single suited in middle position. Folds to me, I make it 40. The button and the big blind call. So we're going three ways to a flop. Flop comes eight, seven, four with two spades. Checks to me, I bet 80. Over to the button who makes it 200. Big button makes the call and I just decide to put it all in the middle. Um, you know, I'm not really gonna fold this and might as well just have both of them call me now. So I put it in and they do both call. So we're going three ways to a turn. Turn brings a seven. Big blind checks over to the button who puts enough to put him all in. Big blind thinks a bit and frustratingly folds. So we're going heads up to a river. River brings a six. My opponent turns over ace nine, six, five, three. So he flopped the straight and has the second nut low and we're gonna chop it up here with the nut low. Here look down at ace jack, eight, three, two, double suited in the big blind. There are four limpers to me. I'm in race and everyone calls. So we're going five ways to a flop. Flop comes ace eight six, 